Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney Springs. It is officially August, so I wanted to come out and try all the new food offerings for the new month. Of course, we've got Gideon's to look forward to and their cookies and coffees, but I also wanted to try to get a walk-up reservation at Paddlefish. That is the restaurant in the iconic steamboat here, and it has one of the most beautiful sunset views ever. So I wanted to just come down, relax, and enjoy a Disney Springs kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. On top of all the new food items that they have going for the month of August, they're still doing the Flavors of Florida event. And that's really cool because that way we get to try some of the items we didn't get to try in July yet. And I love this event. They're actually featured at 20 different dining locations here at the Springs. And they actually have some really amazing things. It is 6 p.m. and I am super late today. Usually I like to get here at like 11 a.m. for new cookie day. Uh, people like flock out for the new cookie of the month at Gideon's and hopefully the line's not too long. So we're gonna head over there and we're gonna see if there's either a virtual queue or if we have to wait in line. And also we're gonna turn it into a positive because it's super late. Try to catch the sunset at Paddlefish because trust me, it is a beautiful view. Looks like we are in luck. There is no virtual queue and the walk-up line is only like a 10 minute wait. And here is the artwork for the new month of August. And I love it. It is Captain Cagliostro. And the uh, cookie of the month is the Key Lime Pie Chocolate Chip Cookie. And this is a returning favorite. Just picture like a vanilla cookie with chocolate chips and a twist of Key Lime in it. It's really, really good. And they also have a Key Lime Pie Cake Slice that they're offering on the weekends. And I just love how they give like a little backstory and a little lore. Uh, Captain Kegley Ostro, legend speaks of a raven-haired mermaids that have gifted key limes to weary sailors. Isn't that so fancy? You know, the more I look at this picture, if I switched up my hat and actually grabbed a pipe, I think we could be uh, twins. I think we could be twin captains, actually. Maybe dye my beard a little gray. I kind of like it. I like this look. Because it's still the flavors of Florida, they don't have a new coffee this month. Instead, they have the same one from last month, which is the orange uh, mocha. And I'm not the biggest fan of that. It's like an orange pecan uh, cold brew. So I might get just my regular cookies and cream or pumpkin cold brew. Those are my go-to. Here it is, the key lime pie chocolate chip. But right next to it, is the chocolate chip banana bread. This is my all time favorite cookie right there. I love it so much. So every time I come here, it's so hard not to get it, but I gotta try the cookie of the month. All right, I have retrieved the goods. I ended up getting a classic coffee. I went a little classic style today. I've already drank a lot of it because I am super hot and it is very refreshing, but I love it. I love, you can't go wrong with the classics. And, mm, I gotta take a sip, you know? And I got the key lime pie cookie. Now, the key lime pie cake slice is only available on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, so I wasn't able to get that. So just one cookie today, just one cookie, and it's the, the cookie of the month, brand new. A little melty, a little melty, what can I say? But oh boy, it is soft, look at this. I'm gonna get chocolate all over the place, but of course we gotta break it open. This is key lime cookie, right? Look at this. Oh boy, it's gonna fall apart. I kind of want this to drop. Look at it. boom. But all right, we're going in. We gotta try the first bite here. I like to go in the middle here. Mmm, that is solid. One of the things I really, really want to point out is the pie crust inside the cookie. Look at this. Do you see that? That's pie crust inside the chocolate chip cookie. Like that is what makes these cookies so phenomenal. Ah. I get excited, look at that. Oh, that is so awesome, isn't it? Seriously, I feel like if you're ever trying to sell someone on Gideon's cookies, you have to be like, dude, they have pie crust inside the cookies. Pie crust in a cookie. Like, that's genius. It's like, it's crazy. One thing I really got to say about Gideon's cookies, they always make these cookies when you first read about them, you're like, you know what? I don't think I'd like that combination. You know what I mean? Kind of like lime and chocolate and cookie. You know, you wouldn't really think you'd like it, but 
it's good. Like, it is good, good. Even the birds like it. They keep on trying to steal it, but I like it. The, the key lime isn't overpowering. You can still taste a lot of the vanilla cookie and the chocolate itself. And uh, yeah, another successful cookie review. Another, another cookie of the month. This is like the best thing ever. Seriously, I get so excited and happy to just come down here every single month just to be able to show you guys the cookies. You know what I mean? The cookies. I feel like the cookie monster of Disney Springs. All right, enough with the cookie business. Now we are here at the Paddlefish, and this actually used to be called the Empress Lily, and it was named after Walt Disney's wife, Lily. Uh, and then it changed to Fulton's, and now it's the Paddlefish, and it's a gigantic steamboat. And it's so cool because the restaurant is inside, and they even have elevators that are inside of the, the boat itself. But sometimes I like to go up to the very top here. They have like a little outdoor bar area, and they do walk-ups up there and you can order the full menu. So I think we're gonna try that today. I think we're gonna go up there, just enjoy the view. It's just about that time for a sunset and just in, uh, have some good food. I have eaten here before, just like appetizers and drinks and stuff like that, but I never had like a full meal. So I'm kind of interested in that. I'll show you the menu a little bit. We're gonna tour the inside. And then, like I said, we're gonna try to go all the way up. I love when restaurants have little menus outside so you can look through it and that way I can show it to you guys because I don't like looking on the phone but I mean this is a basic seafood restaurant they've got things from the steamer they've got snow crab whole main lobster peel and eat Key West pink shrimp I'm actually interested in the peel and eat Key West shrimp for $39 I wonder how much shrimp you get and then they've got some land options like a ribeye and a filet looks like the average price for entree here is about $30 to $50 and uh yeah, I'm excited. Like I said, they used to have lobster corn dogs on the menu that I loved, but I think they're gone now. I don't see them anywhere. They do have some sausage and peppers, and you know, I do like that. I do want to point out that this is a gigantic boat actually sitting in the water. So you can come up and there's certain areas that you can just go and explore without having to go in and eat. I want to show you some of them real quick because it's very pretty. Like it is very, very pretty. They have a lot of weddings here even too. And uh, it's always busy. Reservations are hard to come by. Right here is the entrance, but before you even go into the restaurant, you can just walk around here. Like, you know what I mean? You can go explore. And up here at the front of the boat, they used to have like another bar here. I don't know if they still have it or not. They have this nice little seating out here. Look at this. This is just on the first level, but yeah, they used to have like a bar open right here and it was so cozy and nice. I've actually eaten here a couple of times and I love the little lights that they have. Nice bell up front. I'm tempted to ring that bell, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I mean, it does look really, really cool, but I'm also afraid of it. Once if it makes a big, big noise. But look at this view. And wait till you see when we go all the way up. Like I said, it's, it's massive in here. It looks like we were lucky enough to get a table. And look at this. We're inside the boat now. Look at this. Just like I said before, an elevator in the boat. I think it's just so cool. And it goes up three levels, right? Yeah, it goes up to the, yeah, and that's where we're going. We're going all the way up. And just like that, we took the elevator all the way up, and we are here at the top of the boat. Now, it might get a little bit breezy up here, but I wanted to show you. A lot of people choose to sit inside, but I'm all about the views today. And look at this. We have the, old, we have the whole entire up, like the top to ourselves. Now, I don't think that's going to last long. I'm sure people will be flocking up here later on. But look at this view. Isn't it amazing? I just love coming up here. This is what I need sometimes. Just come up and relax. Oh, it is absolutely beautiful. You can actually see fireworks from up here too. And the sunsets can happen over there though. Earlier I was talking to you guys about how this used to be called the Empress Lily. Let me know in the comments if you ever got to eat here when it was that because I would have loved to see it. That was before my time though and actually on the menu I was looking through and they actually have something that kind of references that. Underneath libations and rocks, they have Lil's Steamboat Breeze. That actually sounds really, really good. I, on the other hand, am on the Key Lime Kick, and I remember coming here, and they have this amazing Key Lime beer. They got rid of it, but they replaced it with a new Key Lime beer. So since we had some Key Lime cookies, figured I'd get a Key Lime beer to go with it. On top of the key lime beer, I also ordered the sausage and peppers because I need to know. I mean, I love sausage and peppers and also the peel and eat key, uh, we, uh, key West shrimp. I almost said kiwis. Kiwis. Kiwi. 
<laughs> but they said that the shrimp is like 12 ounces and it's a little bit on the larger side and they're very firm and they have a good sweet taste to it so I'm very excited to try it and it comes with the potatoes and the corn on the cob all from the steamer and that is right up my alley because I love it here comes my key lime beer and I love the paddlefish cups that they got here they're so nice aren't they and I'm gonna give it a sip and I also can't wait to see the rainforest cafe uh, actually do their pyrotechnics like their fire as you're sitting up here, you can hear all of the animal noises from uh, the Rainforest Cafe over there. And you can also hear all the horns from the boats. Can you see the boats behind us? I think that's so cool. And this uh, Key Lime beer is phenomenal. I love it. I'm so happy. I mean, I missed the old one, but this one's just as good. All right, and here are the sausage and peppers. Look at this. We've got some crispy chorizo there. I love it. Then we got some bread and the peppers and then a special sweet chili aioli. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna like that aioli, but this looks really, really good. Very flash fried, flash fried. And uh, I hope the peppers aren't too hot. All right, here we go. I'm gonna build myself a little sandwich, a little chorizo and a little pepper there. Just gonna pop it just like that. And we're gonna give it a go, give it a bite. Not too spicy at all, but the chorizo has such great flavor. I mean, this is actually very, very enjoyable. I feel like I, I, I don't have enough bread to keep making sandwiches. The ratio is not that good. I think you have to double up on the chorizo. We gotta double up on the chorizo. Here we go. Lots of chorizo, lots of peppers. Gotta get rid of that stem. You don't need this stem unless you wanna try tying a knot in it. It's not a great idea. Just eat the chorizo. As I was sitting over there enjoying my sausage and peppers, I decided to grab my beer and take you guys out to the front of the boat to show you this beautiful sunset that's just happening right now. Isn't that glorious? Oh, I love it. I really needed this today. I really, really did. Oh, and you can see the Ampere cars down here too. Look at that. Oh, and the fire's happening over at the Rainforest Cafe. So many amazing things at once. I don't know how to control it. Honestly, look at, they're taking pictures. Oh, this is great. And then that, let me tell you, this is worth it right here. Real time talk, and I hate to do this during a Disney Springs video because I really don't actually talk a lot about things that go on in my day to day life. But, you know, I wanted to just like fill you guys in. I wanted to thank you guys actually too, because, you know, I've been going through a, a lot of depressing days and today really was a, a very a rough day for me. I got into a car accident and I'm, I'm pretty sure I totaled my car. So I was really, really kind of down and out and depressed. And I feel like when it comes to making videos and a lot of other creators, they burn themselves out when they come out and make videos all the time. But I feel like making the videos is what makes me feel better you know what I mean when I'm sitting at home and I'm down and I'm depressed uh, nothing cheers me up more than coming out and making a video like so a lot of people always ask why my videos are so positive and upbeat it's because it's for me like and it's for me and it's for you to enjoy like this is how I cheer myself up and like I said today I was having a rough day my I, I think I told him my car and I sat at home and I really was thinking of not coming out and I said you know what go to Disney Springs you get that cookie of the month you go enjoy yourself and right now I'm staring at a beautiful sunset making this wonderful video for you guys and I feel great I feel I feel fantastic so thank you guys so much like as much as you guys think these videos help you they help me way more now let's get back to this moment look at that it's just so beautiful like I said, sunsets and sunrises, they just calm me down. And like seeing things happen in real time like this right now. Oh man, look at this. It's like the car boat, the Ampu car is just driving off into the sunset. It's so magical. Wow, what a shot there. Anyone that just needs this moment of zen, it's here for you. We'll give you a good five seconds just staring out looking at it but back
back to the shrimp and business. I am so excited for these Key West peel and eat shrimp. Oh, I think they're coming right now. Oh, look at that. The timing is perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I had to bring my shrimp over for the sunset because I didn't want it to miss. I didn't, I didn't want my shrimp to be alone over at the table, but I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this a lot and I'm going to dive into them any second now, but I just want to just want to let that sun just finish setting there because it's beautiful. All right, let's dig in now. I'm very excited. These shrimp look phenomenal and they give you all the uh, shrimp and business uh, things that you need. They give you all the utensils. We got the shrimp bucket, the little shrimp fork. Got to have that little shrimp fork. Some napkins, lots of napkins. Gonna take that all out. That way we put all the shrimps in there. And I think they put this little paper towel down at the bottom there so it doesn't make noises when you're throwing the tails in. I think that makes sense. It's like a soft dropping, you know what I mean? So it doesn't ding. <laughs> Maybe I'm making that up, but I feel like that would be a good reason. Oh boy, they give you a bib. Oh, this is too good. Oh, I'm gonna put this bib on. We're gonna get to the shrimping business here in a second. Now I'm bibbed up. Perfect. Ooh! <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Make sure you guys use your shrimp fork to clean your shrimp good. <laughs> the shrimping business is good. Peel and eat. Peel and eat. That's the way. Oh wow, these Key West shrimp look really, really good. Very bright too. Like very, very bright. I can't really see much seasoning on there. I don't know if they season it or not. Because it's Key West, you know? They said it's just about like 12 ounces worth of shrimp. So that breaks up to like 15 to $20. And it's a $39 meal. It comes with this gigantic corn on the cob, the potatoes. And I'm excited. I'm excited to drive in, dive into the shrimp. Here we go. It's time for Mr. Morrow's shrimp and business to take place. I'm so excited. I love that I got a bib on too. It brings me back to Boston Lobster Feast. Mmm. That's good shrimp. Ooh. Seriously, that is some very good shrimp. Now we're going to cut into these potatoes here. Oh yeah, just the way I like it. Ooh, and I'm also going to wrap some of my shrimp in my chorizo. Have a little chorizo shrimp. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. I think that's going to sound good. Gotta get the little potato taste test done though. Oh wow. The potatoes are fantastic. So good. Seriously, those potatoes are perfectly seasoned. Like they are so good. And I can't wait to try my chorizo and shrimp idea. But first, we gotta try the corn on the cob. And I'm lucky I got my bib on, but the, the wind is blowing it all over the place. It's a pretty wild bib. See, the, the bib in business is a little difficult sometimes, but we're going to try the corn on the cob here. We're going to try it. We're going to give it a go here. I'm all about corn on the cob, too. Ooh. There's some pretty gnarly lightning happening in the area right now. It's like a sunset lightning. I don't know if I'll catch any of it in like the, the, the middle of it, but look at those clouds. I love when they turn on these lights. I just love being up here and you can see they got some nighttime entertainment happening over there This is such a chill atmosphere All right, I'm about to turn my bib into a cape like I'm Let it fly back this way might choke me though. There we go. Oh, maybe it just looks like a fancy scarf now Yep, yep. There we go. All right, we got that taken care of everything's better now Okay, now it's time for the shrimp chorizo combination in fact i might make it a shrimp chorizo pepper combination look at that i'm pretty sure this is how you make key west shrimp cajun shrimp that's the combination i'm looking for overall everything is really amazing oh maybe some of that lightning i don't know if you guys saw it but overall the combination of everything is very very good i love this this is like an ultimate dining experience right now, especially for the price. I'm going to be meeting up with a friend in a little bit to grab a drink, uh, but I'm going to be all shrimpy. I'm going to be smelling all shrimpy, and I don't have World Showcase to go and spritz some nice cologne on. I might make my way over the basin so I can wash my hands with some fancy soap. That's how you get rid of the fishy smell. Basin is the way. 
We are all finished up with our meal. No need for dessert because we already had Gideon's and we might grab a couple of things on our way out. I do need to stop over to Sprinkles and get Gracie Pupcakes. Definitely don't want to forget that. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna head out now. It's so beautiful up here. I, kinda, I would stay up here all night though. Like fireworks are gonna happen and oh, 45 minutes though, 45 minutes like they're gonna start. And you can see Magic Kingdom and Epcot, and also sometimes any fireworks that you see from International Drive on the other side. And it's really, really beautiful. Oh, you've seen that lightning. One last look before we head out. Take a look at this. Such a fun night here at Disney Springs. We're gonna go mingle down there with everyone in a second. I thought it would be funny to go walk around Disney Springs with my bib on. If you guys know, you know, especially if you've seen my Boston Lobster Feast video. But I'm gonna take it off because it is a little tight on my neck and it keeps on blowing all over the place. Like, I gotta stop it, like every, there we go. So I'm gonna take it off. Oop, 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 there we go. That's way. ooh, some lightning. The lightning happening in these clouds right here. You just see lightning happening everywhere. It's really, really pretty. Ooh, and now the thunder. Actually, you can just see it. It's right here. Ooh, I like it. You can see the top of Spaceship Earth too a little bit on this side. This is such a fun little thing being up this high. You get sunsets, you get fire, boats, lightning, everything. All right, we're gonna make our way over the basin. Gonna wash our hands so we don't smell like shrimp. Then we're gonna actually maybe cut through the world of Disney, do a little shopping and make our way back down to the hangar bar actually. I think it's so funny. Holy moly, did you guys see that lightning? But I think it's so funny uh, when I tell people like how much I love washing my hands at Basin. People are like, hey, what's their fun to do at Disney Springs? And I'm like, oh yeah, you can go to Basin, you can wash your hands. Like, you know what I mean? Like, doesn't that sound funny? Like, in my head, it doesn't. But, like, to them, they're probably like, why would I want to go wash my hands? I've got a sneaky suspicion we're going to get poured on here, though. Look at that dark cloud rolling in right there and the lightning. I mean, it looks extra bright because of my camera, but it is super dark right now. Very, very dark. Hi, how are you? I'm thinking it's going to get rained on. You see that? I know. Oh! <laughs> I like it. I'm here for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have a good night. Oh, <laughs> we got to wash our hands in basin and get pup cakes before the downpour happens. So no time to waste. I'm coming basin. The best part of Disney Springs is washing your hands at basin. That was a good one, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna grab some, grab some soap. Ooh. Gotta wet the hands first. I think we're gonna go with this one right here. This is the way. Excellent, excellent. Gotta get it in, gotta get it in. Lather, lather, it's important. Get it on your hand. Yeah, it's super cool and it feels really good. Oh boy. They've got some new soap here. I'm going for it here. The flower, it actually makes your soap like a flower. Oh, I like that. Do it again. Okay, I'm excited. I always like when new soaps happen. <laughs> I know that they had like a very popular Mickey uh, soap dispenser that made like Mickey, like Mickey shaped like soap in your hand. But that one's kind of cute, I like that. Now we gotta check out the bars of soap. Two things in life I take very serious. My soap in business and my cookie business. Can't interrupt those. I always have some fresh basin soap at my house. Got the Mickeys right here. But I'm also thinking about over here, they've got uh, a little paw paw print soap. Look at this. A little paw prints. The pick of the litter. Wash away the dirt of the day with this clean, fresh fragrance. I wonder what it smells like. They have little samples here, but I like the little paws. Little Gracie paws. All right, our hands are smelling fresh. Lightning is in the air, and I think we're gonna get cut through uh, World of Disney real quick. I do love the smell of face, and like now I'm obsessed. And you know what? I, I gotta admit something here, guys. I gotta be honest with you. A long time ago, before I ever bought this soap, I took a little bit and a little bit of a napkin, and I went to the bathroom, and I put it on my face to see what it feels like. And I did, and I loved it, and that's what convinced me to buy it. And now I get it all the time. 
as we're getting closer to the Halloween season, I've been seeing a lot of Haunted Mansion merchandise and I love it. I'm here for it. Look at this. We got some pants for $49.99. Look at this bride. You, mal you may now kiss the bride. That's a really cool one. $39.99, this nice little robe right here. They have a lot of awesome stuff that I didn't even know. Over on this side, you got this one right here. This one's really cool. I love the mummy. And then this shirt itself, this one is $34.99. This one's really, really cool. I got a nice little thick button up one too. This one just has HM on it though. See, like really, really good stuff. And then of course, they got the Haunted Mansion Spirit jersey over here and this one. See, I keep on seeing new things I've never seen before. These are all really awesome shirts. I'm not gonna buy anything today. Last time I came here in my last Disney Springs video, I walked out with so much new stuff for Gracie and she loved it. But today, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. All right, we have made it to Sprinkles. It looks super busy in there though, so I think I might use the Cupcake ATM today. I love the Cupcake ATM and I like the little song that comes on. I love Sprinkles. It's gonna be flashing here, guys, but let's see if they have any Pup Cups available even. Oh, they do, look at that. Pup Cup, give me three of those bad boys. Three of them? Oh wait, they're, oh, they're, I think they're two packs, so two of them. Yeah, there we go. Check out, bada bing. Uh, nope, but I should be a member. Approved. Your purchase is on the way. Look, you can actually see it back there. The little, the claw. It's picking out the pup cakes. That's gonna deliver it to us. Ooh, I hear it. Something's rumbling. Something's behind that door there. Where's my song though? I love sprinkles. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, you just seen it? I just saw it. Your purchase is ready, enjoy. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, ATM. Now Gracie's got her pup cakes. Ooh, I almost dropped them. She wouldn't like that at all. I still can't believe the rain hasn't come yet. The lightning is so intense right now. Look at that up there, holy moly. But we're gonna make our way over to Hangar Bar to meet our friends. We're going towards the lightning. Looks like we didn't make it to the car in time, guys. We're gonna have to hold up shop here. Look at this. I've never seen a storm this bad before. It's been a while. Well, it's been a couple, it's been a couple of weeks or months, I have to say. Look at this, though. Holy moly. I honestly just want to sit here and show you guys some really cool lightning. I don't know if it's going to happen in the timing that I want, but look at this. Holy moly, look at it. It is so crazy out. All right, we have made it back home. I was able to seek a little shelter during the storm, but I can't get over this lightning. It's still going pretty crazy. And now that we're home, we're gonna give Gracie her pup cups. I'm sorry that the Disney Springs video got cut short because of, holy moly, do you guys see this? Like, I'm sorry it got cut short because of the rain, but I still had a lot of fun. And we're gonna give Gracie her pup cups. And, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna show you guys my car a little bit too. Here is my car. I'm sure you guys can't see much because my car is black and it's so dark out, but uh, the whole front bumper and everything's gone. The lights just hang in there. We got everything bent out and I'm waiting for them to come and pick it up and take it to the collision center. But I don't know, I don't, I don't know much about cars, but I think it might be totaled. It, it might not, they might actually fix it. I mean, well, I guess I'll just see how it goes. I mean, it's, it's pretty bad. I've got everything in the backseat of my car. I feel bad talking about stuff like this because like I said, I normally don't talk about like just daily day-to-day day -day things, but if I, you know what I mean, I mentioned it so I don't want to leave you guys hanging, but like basically to sum it up, you know, I was at a crazy hectic intersection, somebody pulled out in front of me and I tried to stop as fast as possible and I couldn't 
and I ended up hitting them and that's just how it goes it's just accidents happens all the time here in Florida but I didn't think it was gonna happen to me I was just going to get coffee we, I was go, I was heading to Starbucks to get coffee in the morning and then I was just like wow well this isn't the best way to start the day and yeah so I'm gonna figure it out but I mean I might be a little absent with videos until I get everything worked out I mean who knows maybe it'll go by quick but from what I can tell I was trying to find a collision space like a spot down here that's gonna give me an estimate and like some of them are telling me it's like a month wait because everything's so backed up and there's so many accidents here so I don't know I mean <laughs> I haven't gotten many accidents in my life so uh, I'm kind of new to it so I guess we'll just take it day by day but enough of that let's give Gracie her pop cups <laughs> you want pop cup hey you want pop cup what 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 here you can take it on my palm you want this Whoop. <laughs> Very dainty. Look at her. She always got to roll it over. Oh, did you give me a pop? Look at her. And with that, I think we are done here today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry we didn't get to try a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for next month. Did my kitchen lights just turn on? I feel like it was the clap on. Did you just see that happen? Clap on. No, I guess you gotta hook up a clap on. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.